yeah, yeah. All right. Today there is only one topic, but I have another topic to warm us up so you're in the mood for like random thoughts you're in the random thoughts mood trademark what if when you blew somebody you actually blew them up like like just blowing them up so people would fly through the air like balloons really makes you think hmm prostitutes would be fat they would float away it's really just, I don't know, there there would have to be like a way to unblowify them just to like stick a needle into their spine and they deflate into their normal size. Hmm. Now I'm just thinking of like an assassin going undercover and <laughs> being sexy to their victim. That happened in Kingsman, the Golden Circle. By the way, so I'm out of the question here. Stop talking, Jerry. Seriously. It's it's true. It can happen. It's a movie idea. And then they're going... So the assassin and their victim, they're going into the net, the tent, and they're like... He's like... Blowing. And then, listen to this, he, she, he blows her so big that she's just a balloon lets her go into space dies pops so off topic it's so sad all right my real topic is for something every comedian hates and me being a not comedian i'm i'm fine i'm grateful to do this which is being funny and making a point I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hmm. <clears throat> so here's my rant for today. Vaping does not make you cool. So taken straight from a website named vapingdaily.com, which is a pro-vaping thing. Their main topic, the first thing I say is why vaping is good and it's bold underlined and there's a green check mark to the left of it that says unlike the smoke of traditional tobacco cigarette most e-liquids produce vapor which is a pleasant odor <laughs> wow it's a miracle this tobacco free savior of a product is amazing well guess what it has nicotine in it which is really the bad part about vaping it no, won't necessarily kill you or cause cancer and make you die, but it will do, do it'll do worse. It, it'll addict you a lot, and I'll get back to that. But I would get someone in here and tell you how addictive vaping is, but I have no family or friends. <laughs> Some people will say that vaping, it's easy on the lungs, it feels great, and you can do it all day and not feel bad. Well, smoking makes you do a few when you feel sick. So they say it's 95% more safe than smoking, but a hundred, it's, it's 100% more smoking or vaping because it's easy. It feels great, and the addictiveness just proves my point. Now that we finished those advantages of the godsend vapor, it's time now for the consequences. You know, you know that thing in your body that heals all your wounds, and you should be bowing down to it like every day, because it's like bowing down like it's heckin' Lord Xenu. You know, fibroblasts, the things that heal your cuts and wounds and stuff. Well, surprisingly, those work fine when you vape. They will, they will morph into wound healing cells, but that's it, that's it. They don't heal the wounds, they just, they just go into the cells, but they just break when you start vaping. And... Well, so sadly, you cannot 
get healed from that scraper wound that was made when you got abused. And you, you can get smoker's cough and your voice will get bad, not as, well, just, you'll sound like Miranda. Hey, what are you saying about my voice? It's normal. I hate you. Go die. Why? Also, when you say that you don't, it doesn't have tobacco. Wrong. Because the flavors found in the, the vaping juice are from tobacco leaves, which causes you like have a buzz afterwards. And dude, that's like seriously, dude. Oh, that feels amazing. Like I'm Carl Sagan in space, Panic at the Disco. I can't feel anything. There are a lot more bad things, but maybe some good things. And this is turning into an essay as I write it. So please just kill me now and rate five stars.